What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Michael. My name is Scott. And today we're going to be answering the following question. Is an all-round build in Fallout 4 the best? A build that chooses to have four points of each stat as they embark upon their wasteland adventure. We originally got asked this question as a joke, and especially considering that most of our best builds use a very min-max playstyle, meaning 10 in some stats with only one in other others, it definitely seems like a build that wouldn't be too great at first. Yeah, it sounds like the kind of build someone who only wants to play through the game once would have. A build for less decisive players that lets you experience a moderate amount of everything. But we've actually had a good look at the stat tree and the perks available in Fallout 4 and discovered that a build that literally has four points of every stat is actually pretty damn powerful. Especially considering once you get the bobbleheads and especially if you allocate the special book into intelligence. But even the bobbleheads and special book aren't actually necessary. A build with 4 in all stats is still really good. Allow us to explain. First, we'll look at a build with 4 in every stat, and then we'll see what else gets added on once we've got the bobbleheads and the special book. So starting out in the wasteland, you'll have 4 strength, 4 perception, 4 endurance, 4 charisma, 4 intelligence, 4 agility, and 4 luck. That means we'll have a decent amount of carry weight, some solid vats accuracy, not that we'll need it, a tolerable amount of health, decent prices at stores, decent ability to to persuade others, an acceptable leveling speed, a nice amount of action points, and the ability to fill out our critical meter at an acceptable pace. Again, remember that this will all be enhanced a bit more using bobbleheads, and also keep in mind that this stuff doesn't really matter too much. It's more the perks that a build like this gives you access to. So let's take a look at what perks you'd be getting, which are actually some of the best perks in the game. So let's just look at a build with four in everything. In the strength tree, you'd be getting armor, and then you could also pick between big leagues and iron fist, and then get blacksmith too. In perception, you'd be getting rifleman and locksmith, and in charisma, you'd be getting lone wanderer. In the intelligence tree, you'll be getting hacker, gun nut, and medic. And in agility, you've got commando, sneak, and Mr. Sandman. Then in the luck tree, you'd have bloody mess and scrounger. This would basically lead you to have a character that can do the following. Lockpick or hack his way into anything or anywhere, craft all weaponry and armor in the game except those needing science, can't use heavy guns and explosives but can use rifles, pistols or automatic weapons, Although you'd want to probably use automatic and non-auto rifles as they are the best, you'd also have a character with a silenced rifle such as Spray and Prey, who's then able to take advantage of some insane stealthy gameplay. You can sneak around undetected and gain huge silenced weapon bonuses from the Mr. Sandman perk. If you want to use melee with your stealth, that option is also there. Finally, you have more damage bonuses from Bloody Mess and also from Lone Wanderer, which also works to make the character are much sturdier and have even more carry weight. You wouldn't run out of ammunition because of the scrounger perk, and all the ammo that you find and don't use could be sold to generate more caps. Also, do note that you'll be using the armor perk to ballistic weave military fatigues, which you'd be able to wear under the best armor you can find, bolstering your resistances massively. Now that character sounds pretty beast to me, but after you get the bobbleheads, you get access to even more mayhem. You get the heavy gunner perk, if that's the kind of thing you're into, and you'll also get Demolition Expert, which enhances your explosive damage. This means your explosive stealth damage weapon of mass destruction, aka spray and prey, is going to be even more overpowered. It also means if you want to use big guns like a missile launcher, it will benefit from Demolition Expert and Heavy Gunner. And remember, all these awesome things can be upgraded, and with the Intelligence Bobble head you'll also get access to scrapper which makes customization even easier also the only crafting perk you don't have science soon becomes available if you allocate the special book into intelligence then this build truly can customize everything that means you can put a targeting computer on your missile launcher you get the idea if you desire you can also speed up AP regeneration using action boy don't forget you have the endurance perks too if you want them things like aqua boy if you're into convenience perks and there you have it folks, a super high damage build that can craft whatever gear they want, remain undetected, and go around murdering or saving the wasteland. They're hard to kill due to their perks, they're good at killing others, and they're quite resourceful and very versatile. So it turns out an all-arounder build in Fallout 4 is pretty damn sensational after all. 
Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching, and we both hope you thoroughly enjoyed this discussion. If you love Fallout 4 and you're interested in more videos about role-playing, lore, statistics, and amazing stuff of that variety, please do subscribe. Leave a like if you think this video is worthy, and please share it with all your friends who originally ripped on your seemingly boring build decision. Social media links are in the description if you want to ask us a question. And with that said, we'll see you all in the next video coming very soon. Bye.